the next thing we're going to talk about is jogging the robot. Now the first thing you must do is you have to turn on the teach button. Uh, you will have to turn it on right here and on the control box, which is where the cable of the teach pendant is. Um, and for this computer simulation, all I have to do is turn it on here, but you will have to do it on the box as well. Otherwise, you'll see a nice error up here pop up. Now, you'll also have to clear any fault that you have beforehand. So press the reset button if you have a fault. You'll then be able to use the shift key and use jogging mode. Before we go into that, though, I want to talk about jogging representation. Now, right now we are jogging in the joint representation, which means we are moving uh, the joint. We can change how we're going to jog by pressing the coordinate uh, button right here. Now we'd be jogging in the jog frame, the world frame, the tool frame, the user frame, and we're back to joint. The three most common ones you'll use are joint, world, and tool. User and jog frame are mainly used if you have uh, some part you need to move on a machine or cable that's at an odd angle. It's not in line with the X, Y, and Z. In that case, you'll um, be using the user frame that you might have set up uh, to make sure that the X coordinate frame and the Y coordinate frame are in line with the edges of the cable or something similar. We are not going to go into that right now, but um, we'll cover the three main jog methods at the moment. When we go over how to set up tool frames and user frames, then those aspects will be a lot more useful. So right now, while we're in joint, we hold shift, and we can jog the robot. Now it's going pretty slow right now, because we are going 10% speed. We can speed it up while we're moving by pressing speed up button. Notice how it jumps to 50%. Uh, as you're holding shift, it'll actually jump uh, with its speed up and down a lot quicker. It, um, if we wanted to adjust a little more finely, we let go of shift and adjust it as needed. Or we could hold shift and hop between 100%, 50%, and 5%. We're going to keep it at 50%. So we're going to. going to jog it in the first uh, joint and you can jog it backwards by doing it this way. Uh, the main thing is, is you want to get used to jogging the robot around, know what each joint is and uh, which way is positive or negative for this thing. Uh, it's overall pretty simple, it just takes some getting used to. And uh, once you get used to how each joint is moved, you can uh, move on to a new frame. So uh, right here I've displayed how each joint moves a little bit, just so you can have an idea. But uh, it'll adjust this uh, frame, which is attached to it. Now, well, uh, you need to let go of shift before you change the coordinate frame. Otherwise, you will have the option to change your uh, tool user and joint, uh, tool user and jog frame, which we're not going to go into. So, change when you change the world. Um, we will then be dealing with the coordinate frame right here. Now, the X, Y, and Z when you're in world will always be locked in this uh, orientation. So when you jog in the X direction, it'll always be that way, no matter the orientation of the wrist or where the robot is. And when you rotate, it's going to rotate about that joint, I mean about that uh, axis right there. So notice how it turns about that, and if we do a rotation about the Z, it'll rotate a bit 
this way. And then straighten that back out a little bit. Now usually you can actually uh, jog and rotate two keys at the same time. So if you wanted to, you could jog in the X and Y at the same time. This is helpful for when you're moving the robot around manually. Now the big difference between world and tool is going to display by first going to this little object is when you switch the tool this tool frame right here changes so if we go back to world notice how it's locked in that direction when we press the uh, change it to tool it actually gets in line with uh, the robot now this is just the default tool frame it hasn't been adjusted or anything you can uh, adjust it so that the tool coordinate frame is however you want it, uh, but by default it's just uh, with the Z going in uh, outwards from the center of the uh, 6th axis and the X and Y are perpendicular right here. The main thing this is used for is if you need to go in and out of certain areas which are not uh, necessarily within the XY frame, or if you need to run apart uh, parallel at an odd angle. It's, it's just something you have to get a little used to. Notice now when I jog in the X direction, it's going um, <coughs> in the X direction right here instead of the default axis, it's right there. This is also extremely helpful for rotations. And for rotations, if you needed to rotate the tool about uh, a certain axis a little easier, for instance, we need to straighten out the tool but keep this uh, orientation, it's a lot easier to do it in tool. For the most part, you just need to jog the robot around and get used to these different frames. Uh, you'll find a, uh, which one is a little more useful to you as you get more experience with the robotic arm. But for now, just uh, either use RoboGuide or your robot, jog around a bit, make sure you're familiar with them, know which way is X, Y, and Z in world, and which way is X, Y, and Z in tool. Um, and remember which way is positive and negative and it will be extremely helpful for you when you're actually moving the robot later on.